What will you do about your health, your wealth, your lifestyle and experiences you hope to gain this year? We will be with you every step of the way and most certainly share some ideas as we discover what this great city and its people have to offer those who live, work and play in Joburg today. The city kicks off this year with new administration led by Mayor Jeffrey Makubo in what is termed a government of local unity. I asked Gabriel Krauss from the Institute of Race Relations to shed some light on the new administration and what you should expect. It's a new year, a new decade and very much a new day for the uh, mayoral office of Johannesburg City, the, the biggest and most important city in a lot of ways in the continent. Let's talk about the previous administration uh, under Herman Mashaba. What was the impact that they had? So I think it's a mixed bag. I think that some good work was done and there were definitely some problems. Uh, the Johannesburg is a, it's a city that's been described by, I think, one of its greatest writers, Ivan uh, Vladislavich, as having four or five CBDs. So there's the original central business district, and then because of stupid apartheid laws, it was made impossible to do good business there. And then you've got Rosebank, then you've got Santon, you've got Midrand, you've got Randburg Industrial Center. And so Joburg is this very kind of splintered city, and that makes it hard to manage in a coordinated and centralized way. The challenges really are how to deal with the fact that you've got a lot of money sloshing around because it's the financial capital of the continent. At the same time, you've got a lot of crime. All right, now in terms of the status quo, which changed quite suddenly at the end of uh, 2019. Yeah. In your opinion, what becomes the future of Johannesburg moving forward? So I think from a Johannesburg citizen's point of view, the future is even more clearly one of we're going to have to take things into our own hands. Um, we're going to have to tend our own gardens um, because the, the reason for the change was not a, a reason particular to Johannesburg. It had to do with party politics within the DA. Um, and the replacement has not spoken directly to Johannesburg's needs. It also seems to speak to sort of ANC ideology and rhetoric and party coalition politics. So I think Johannesburgers are, are going to have to do what they do really well. Um, which is take care of themselves and, and keep their noses to the ground. It's quite a hard-nosed city, this. And, uh, and it's, it's quite a thriving and dynamic city. People are going to have to keep doing their own thing. Now, in terms of the MMCs that were uh, elected, in your opinion, are they made of the right stuff for those positions? So, uh, as we were discussing, housing is looking uh, tentative. Um, it might be that we don't have enough experience there in a very core competency. Housing was a major issue for Mashaba. He was drawn into Alexandra Township, uh, sort of taunted by the ANC with necklaces, sort of harking back to one of the nastiest sides of apartheid resistance uh, politics. And the Alexandra Township uh, problems around having houses that were not legally established, that don't have proper water and piped uh, pipe water and electricity and that can't properly be regulated needing to be, so people need to be evacuated or evicted so that new establishments can be made. That challenge hasn't gone away. It's not particular to Alexander Township. It's through, in Greater Johannesburg it's a problem too. So th that's a really very important um, portfolio within the mayoral office. Another one is the, is the MMC for finance and um, I, it's, it's tentative. There are sort of rumors going through the corridors of power right now that raise question marks around the competency and the, and the corruption-free uh, capabilities that we have there. But I think more work is going to need to be done. Um, and I think that Johannesburgers who are intent on uh, using their civic uh, responsibility of the vote uh, to take the, the opportunity in the next municipal election are going to have to, I think, start looking from now at how things play out. We've also got some coalition partners. We've got the IFP, we've got COPE, we've got the AIC, who've been given core responsibility. So people who really want to know um, what these parties have to offer are going to have to try and check out the actions as they play out. But it's a new day, as I said. We've got new people uh, at the helm, and, uh, and time is going to have to tell. All right, quick one before we go. Any expectations for the new administration? Overall, I think that I, I don't want to sound too pessimistic, but overall I expect not much to improve. Uh, to, to give a small sort of grassroots level analysis of, uh, of bad things that happened in Johannesburg last year, reports came to me and I went to go investigate of people dressed up in city power uniforms, that's the major electricity utility provider, in a city power branded truck, 
a massive truck with a huge crane that can go up five stories in the back. Breaking into power utility uh, storage units on the city streets and stealing transformers, stealing resistors and sending suburbs into darkness. I also saw reports and saw camera footage of people dressed up as picky tub uh, workers. These are the guys who collect refuse and then stealing the picky tubs for resale. So at this very grassroots level, even in fancy suburbs where people are paying high rates and taxes and expect sort of um, a bang for their buck, we've, we've seen recent encroaching corruption. And I think that it's very hard to deal with that because uh, it's so far down the chain and it's such a large city. It's going to take time. It's going to take ruthless pursuit of the bad guys. And it's also going to take vision that can unify centrist Johannesburgers that want to get on with their lives in a clean, healthy, safe, uh, and, and well-educated way that's going to be good for their kids as well. I'm Bryce Nicholson, and you're watching Joburg Today.